Hi, y'all. It's Cindy from Cindy Loves Jewelry, and here with a quick haul. Um, I went to, Am no, I always want to call it Amvets, Veterans Thrift Town, and I bought a bag. It was $6, and right quick, I'm going to show you the stuff that was junk. So, this is a really cool necklace, but it is broken, and I picked up beads and picked up beads and picked up beads out of that. Um, there are buttons. There are little Christmas uh, earrings. There's a uh, social studies pin. It is not gold. I tested it. There are lots and lots of seed bead packages. Um, there's this. It goes on the back of a. Um, oops. It goes on the back of a. Uh, hi Cheryl. Glad you caught me live. It goes on the back of a dress. You know, like if you've got a big full dress, it goes on the back of it to gather it in. Um, some rhinestones. Just, uh, you can see the bag is pretty full of just junk. So, but there was some good things. And I paid only $6 for this. So, there were some really good things in there. And I'm going to go through them really quick. These are two things that were in there that um, are not really jewelry, but they're things I'll use for jewelry. And it's a little velvet red pouch. And then this little Asian looking silky pouch and it has a snap so that'll be something cool to put jewelry in um so just pop a little bit here here we go okay so um let's just start okay this is like a faux Murano glass pendant I'm doing a video bag so so, uh, and then there's two of these, and they're on cards, which is really cool because there were three of these really nice, and they're just silver tone um, necklaces, chains, and they're really long. So, um, and it is really hot here, and I normally don't wear tank tops, but it's hot. We are, have a heat advisory today with a heat index of 108. So, um, this right here is really, really cool. It's a bracelet. And I'm pretty sure it is, oops, a daisy brand because it has the little daisy flower. But it is missing just one rhinestone that I found so far. And it will be an easy fix because... There was one matching earring, so I will harvest a rhinestone from there to fix the bracelet, sell the bracelet, so um, probably for enough to pay for the bag. And there wasn't a whole lot of just like awesome stuff in here, but there were things that I could see through the bag that I knew would pay for it, like this. This is Chico's. It's uh, hammered metal. These are metal link beads. They are strong stretchy but it is chico's and it has that chico's hang tag so i can sell that for enough to pay for the whole six dollar bag so this probably will go to the flea market booth it is just little gold chain with beads this is a wooden bracelet and it is painted um has a tribal look to it but i'm sure it's just something somebody done at home so um this little guy is adorable it's a kitty cat in a stocking but there's some really bad wear down here it's scratched up really bad so um i probably will put him in a lot of stuff so anyway um this is my favorite piece in here and it is a murano style glass and I say Murano style because there is nothing on here that says Murano. And he's a little froggy. And he is so stinking cute. And he will stay with me because I have a thing about frogs. Hi, Francis. I have this that sits on my keyboard all the time. It's a little frog brooch. And so this little frog will, I'll, I'll keep him. I thought he had a broken foot, but um, he's blowed he looks like blown glass and it looks like whoever done it just wasn't experienced enough to make them even because that's not broken you can feel there's no sharp corners or nothing on it so it's not broken so i'll keep him 
This little necklace is a, um, it's an initials, but the chain is silver. I tested it. It's silver, and so it's real interesting, too. Um, lots and lots of goodies in a $6 bag. A little bow brooch. Oops, try not to hold it too high. I think this is cool, this little heart. Kind of reminds me of a, a, a beta pen, but it's really big. These are earrings, and it's missing a thing like this, but I think I can fix it and make them double pair. So, is it hot where you live, Francis? It is so miserable here. So, and you weren't here when I said, but I got um, the silver chain has initials for the pendant. Yes, it's a it's a monogram pendant. Yes. So, yep, yep. I uh, e m e l is what it looks like. M e l. Hi, Debs. How are you? Anyway. So, these are cool. They're enamel earrings. There's no, yes, I take that back. There is a signature. I didn't see it earlier. They're Monet. Should have known. They looked like they were really nice quality. Um, I'm sure they're vintage because that's a really vintage style. So, anyway, so um, you guys that just popped in, I just wanted to say this was a bag. Let me see what i done. Oh, here it is. This was a bag. It came in a gallon freezer bag. And this is all the junk I pulled out of it. That's just like beads and flip-flops and keychains and little Christmas earrings. There's even a little bag of googly eyes. I paid $6 for this at the Veterans Thrift Town. This here is a brooch. And it says Marjorie Bayer on it. And on the back, it tells that um, she started selling jewelry in front of the Museum of Modern Art in 1969. Looking back, it seemed like an appropriate place to have begun craft at the gates of art. Craft because materials inspire me. Horn and bone from India, glass from Slovakia, and cast iron beads from Africa. So, 107, oh my gosh. Oh my lord, that's, we have a heat index of 108 today, but oh my lord. I do not like summer. Oops. Anyway, so it has a little bit of history on it. So I haven't looked it up or anything like that, but it, it is really neat. But the card has all this information on it. So uh, a cheerleading pen, a pen that says, a, a rock that says faith. This is interesting. And if you, I, I guess it's just a bookmark, but it is leather. And on the little coin, it has, an Indian head, a man's Indian head, and on the back it has, I'm not sure, it almost looks naughty, <laughs> but uh, uh, it has a woman, the profile of a woman, and so, and a, a moon. Um, you know, I live close to the Oklahoma line, so I don't know if it's something that is Native American, I don't know what it is, just I thought it was really interesting. Now, this ring. Okay. Hey, Anita. Hi. So, is this not cool? And I, I really don't know that this is a ring, but that's what the, the, I guess you could wear it. Let me show you. See the back of it? You could slide a scarf through it, and it would be cool, but it also makes a really cool ring. So, that is really neat. So, I really like it, uh, but I'm easily amused and easily entertained. So, very cool. Anyway, um, I have not, okay, I see one, looks like one missing rhinestone right here. So, an easy fix, but it's a stretchy bracelet, and I'm not real crazy about stretch, trying to sell stretchy bracelets. So, it'll probably go to the flea market booth. I'll probably I'll stick a rhinestone in it. Um, this is a they're not real because, as you can see, there's one that's here. But look at that fastener on it, that box clasp. I'm thinking of completely taking the box clasp off of the necklace and selling just the box clasp because you can do that. People sometimes want those. So I'm thinking about doing that online. So anyway, a little uh, well belt buckle, but he's broke. Well, maybe he's a belt, yeah. 
looks like a belt buckle. He's broke. So, um, he's cool. Okay, this here is a, this is the back of it. It's got a hole here, a hole here. So, I'm thinking it's a scarf slider that you slide a silk scarf through it. It's got some verdigris on it, so it will go in some uh, uh, vinegar solution. So, but uh, it's pretty cool. So, uh, this is a key to Disneyland, but it's broke. It's broke up here at the top, and it's not broke at the bottom, but it has a lot of wear on it. So, do you guys think that's worth trying to sell? So, I don't know. Uh, my thoughts are no. My thoughts are stick it in a bag. I like to stick things in bags and just label them craft lot, uh, and people buy them in the flea market booth. So, and this is cute. It's just little glass beads, and they are glass, and um, little uh, slippers, little ballet slippers, and this is neat, and um, it's one of those that is, it's not long enough for a belt, so it's got to be a necklace, and you probably can put a fastener or something like that around it and or tied up so it's really cool i like it and i will sell it so anyway so that's about it for that lot there was a few little dibs and dobbies that were just junk so oh no 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 uh, i forgot i have a whole stack of watches and all this was only six dollars and uh i have a whole ah, are y'all there there uh scared myself um okay let's go okay this one here says let me see it again dufonte or dufont anyway hi hi uh barb going on grumpy hi how are you and this is a wind-up watch and it is running i set it let's see i set it and it is it is running so it's nearly four o'clock and it says nearly four o'clock uh this one here is just a quartz watch this one here is a quartz watch but it is running and these little links are they have a rubbery feel to them but they also have a metal clank to them so that's running so flea market this right here is really really pretty and it has a safety chain which i did not realize it and it says Oh, it says Jules Jurgenstein or Jurgenstein, however you say it. And it says also marked as 10 karat gold field, but it's missing the top to its little thing that you hear. Do you see what I mean? Like the stick is sticking out, but the little twirly thing is gone. So um, I don't know if it's worth having fixed or not. So lay it to the side um this one here says decade and it's cool this one here was really cool it is not running i tried to set it it says american exchange and it's just the watch it just and it says american exchange it's got two things on it it's called a crown the little thing the little pulley out thing on the side is called a crown you learn something new every day this one here is cute. It's a it's a cuff style and it has um, love or bezel. Huh. I always thought the bet no. Okay. I was I'm thinking bezel. I was thinking the bezel was the this inside this, the face. But maybe not. That's just the face, isn't it? Crown and bezel. Cool. Thanks, Debs. Learn something new today. Okay, I do, I do not do watches. I, I mean, I literally have a tub full of watches. I just don't mess with them. So I usually put them in a bag every so often and take a big bag down to the flea market and sell it for 3 or $4. So anyway, and it says faith, love, peace, dream. It's really neat. So this one is cool. And this one says relic on it. So I'm not, I don't know that you can see that. Can you see that? Let's see. There. 
maybe it, it's just got a it's why it's got a glare on it so anyway but it does say relic it's a cool looking watch um i just i don't like messing with watches i don't know watches and i do not like messing with them and then here's another bling in it's missing a rhinestone but it's an easy easy fix um so um oh here i missed these i missed these three things Okay, this is a brooch, and it is really nice, except for it's missing a um, rhinestone right here. But I'm fairly positive I have some that color in my rhinestone kit. So, anyway, that's a, a matte, and uh, I wonder, I've wondered and wondered. And I don't know what this is. I think it's just a napkin ring, but those are beautiful beads. I mean, beautiful, but it don't have no gift to it. And this is a pair of screw-on earrings that are missing the little dangle to them. So, but they're really cool. And this is a brooch and it says P-D-O-I-C on the back. And um, it's missing something and I don't know what. See this little thing here, something needs to go in it, but I don't know what it is. And there was nothing that was in the bag of stuff that really looked like it went. But that's, that's what it says on the back P D O I C. So anyway, so it was, I mean, I got my $6 worth out of it. There's some faux pearls, um, barrel clasp. One of them's broke. So, but I'm trying, and I'm not trying to rush rush, but I'm wanting to show you this that I got yesterday. So I paid $6 for this stuff. There was a, a sterling silver chain in it. There um, was a Chico's necklace that I can sell. There was that pair of Monet earrings and several brooches and just all those watches. So I know I'll get my $6 back out of it. So this is something I bought at the flea market where I have a booth over in um, Waldron. And so I'm going to start right quick by showing you these two little baggies these beads tested um there's two strands of them they tested one of them tested 14 karat gold when i did acid test and one did 10 karat gold and then this little necklace is 14 karat and it tests 14 karat too so and it came out of this bag which is a quart size bag which only was only had the bottom of it filled and I paid $3 for it at my local flea market. So, yeah, it was a really good haul. And so I'm going to show you this. If you're in the Jewelry Lovers, Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers, you saw pictures of this the other day. But uh, um, I have not hauled this. So I'm going to haul this right quick. So this right here, and Peyton said it was. I already suspected that it was. But this is angel skin coral, and uh, it is just beautiful. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't have any idea about the value of it because I've not looked it up or anything like that. But it's just gorgeous. So, um, and I paid three dollars for this. So, um, this is a set, and it is not. It's not coral, but these are dyed rocks of some kind. And then just little glass seed beads. And they have a set a pair of matching earrings. Stand still. There you go. So it's pretty. I mean, I'll put $3 on this with the earrings and take it to the flea market. So here is a pair of dangly bead earrings. They'll go on the dollar board. I sell uh, right now. I have all my jewelry on all my jewelry. If you guys lived in Arkansas, you could come buy jewelry from me. I have all my jewelry. Uh oh, did I lose y'all? Uh, is it carved or just just beads? They're just little beads. Um, Anita, they're just little beads. <coughs> All my jewelry in one of my booths is thirty percent off. In the other booth, um, I have a sale going. All my um dollar jewelry is on sale two for a dollar, and all my other jewelry is three dollars and under. If it's marked under $3, then it's the price it's marked. And if it's marked over $3, then it's $3. So, um, 
I got a big sale going. I'm trying to clear out some jewelry so I can take some more in. So I was so hoping these were Bakelite. When I looked in the thing, I just really felt like they were, but they do not pass the semicrone test at all. So, um, but they're really cool. I like them very much. They're, they're just a gorgeous pair of earrings. So, I mean, I, I will list these online. I'll probably put $12.99 to $14.99 on them. So, this right here is a um, scarf clip. It, you just do the, have this, but look at that. Is that not pretty? It has all those pearls. There's no missing rhinestones, no missing anything. And I really guess you would wear it like that. I'm holding it upside down, of course. My crown was upside down. My crown tends to slide off my head all the time. So, <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. So, and this is Avon. And it was not on a chain, but it, that clear stone is Avon. And, um, I don't know if I'll put it on a chain or just sell the pendant. I haven't decided. This is, there's no mark on this, but it's really cool. It gives off an, I mean, I really thought it was Avon when I saw it, but I've looked at it really close. And uh, my friend that runs the flea market where I have two of my booths, she was an Avon dealer for years and she looked it over good and she couldn't find an Avon mark neither. So this is Avon. Is that not cute? Cute, 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 cute. That little butterfly. He's two-toned gold with with his wings inside is silver. So he's adorable. And this is a brooch. And it is really neat, but it is missing the pin part. So I have to find a, a, a gold-colored safety pin, and then I can fix this. Because what I do is I cut off the pin side of a, a safety pin and then I bend and make a little loop and slide it down in this right here and squeeze it on it tight, but leave it where it can still and then it then it'll pin. And of course I disclose that I've repaired anything like that. So but it is um It's textured. See these white marks on that? You can feel those white marks. So it is textured. Hmm. So that would make a great video to show how I do that. I'm not positive, but I think I made one. But I'll have to look because I made when I started, I made tons of videos. So this right here is Sarah Coventry, and it is really, really pretty. And my nose wants to itch. Um so um anyway there's the other earring that goes with that orange set these right here and i need to put them in some uh vinegar i i when i have verdigris or when i have things that are really yucky um i especially all metal things i soak them in a mixture of about one fourth vinegar, white vinegar to, um, let's see, I guess it would be a four to one ratio, white vinegar to water. And then I add just a squeeze of Dawn in it and I sit it and let it soak. And then I take a toothbrush and gently scrub at the verdigris. But this, this doesn't have verdigris. It's just dirty from people wearing it. But these are uh, little flowers. They are marked on the back 925, and they are also marked CZ. So they're cubic zirconias, and uh, then the 925 with a gold wash over them. And uh, they're really nice. And I've done had somebody want to buy them from me, and he he snarked at me because I told him I was going to put them online. So anyway, just a little pair of cheap beads that's losing their things. Now, these things right here are really, really pretty, but they're signed NA, and I haven't. I have not researched who N.A. is. Anybody know right off the top of your head? I guess it would help if I turned it the correct way, wouldn't it? This, this is signed N.A. And it is, it's the, just a topaz colored in a, um, 
antique bronzy, brassy, antique goldy wash something, but anyhow, but it's not. And then this one is signed that with the exact same NA on it, and it is blue with the brown and the topaz colored stones. And the the chain is a little bit different, but that somebody's put an extender on this, and the extender totally does not match. It clashes really big. Is in a Native American, huh? Definitely drink alcohol while cleaning jewelry. Okay, I lost that one. So I, I'll make it. I'll make a video and show you guys how I do that, how I, I fix those. It's not hard. This is just a little gold chain, and it's it's not real gold. It's gold tone, I should say, but it's missing the little thing right there, and I don't know that I can get one on, but I'll give it a fighting chance and try to put a jump ring on it, and then these little earrings are nothing except for really, really dirty. It, it grosses me. Looks like Nina Rich. Nina. I know who, who you're saying. Let's let's just look. Uh, yeah, it's in R. <laughs> Thanks, Anita. I'm so that's so funny, because my friend she looked at it too, and she's like N R N A too, but it's N R. I can see it just plain as day. N R. So it's Nina Richie. Or Ricey, or however you say it. I say it Richie, so Nina Richie. So, anyway, and oh, this is these are single earrings, but that's cute enough to wear as a pin. A little butterfly pendant, and a little another little butterfly earring. So they're um, these two are at are closing a style. So anyway, and I just threw that one in the floor. So. So this has been a really good week. I, if, if you view my channel and you watched, I've done a bunch of videos on Sunday. Uh, Sunday, last week, the big lots. I have three lots coming from Anita Fanita, and I'm so excited to get them. They should be here Tuesday. So um, hopefully I will have survived my weekend because uh, we're helping my sister-in-law move this weekend. And so uh, I hope I will be able to move enough to do a, a video when my things come in from Anita, but she, she showed them on her channel too. So, but it's always fun when it's your stuff and you like to show too. So, so yeah, it is so hot. It is, but we are, we are um, enlisting the help of young people. I have a 25 year old son and he's getting some of his buddies. And then I have a 18 year old great nephew who is going to be there. And so my sister-in-law sold her house and uh, she has a super fast closing. Like, like her closing is like only 10 days from now. So she just had, she had an inspection earlier this week and appraisal and everything's gone through. And so, but, they wanted to close really, really fast. And so, in fact, their first closing date, they, when they made their first offer, they um, wanted to close uh, and it would have only given her two weekends. And she's like, no way. I got to have three weekends, you know, which she's been going through things. And but but here's the cool thing. She's such she's such a good friend to me and such a good person to me. She gave me a whole lot of stuff to sell in my booths so i have just been pricing like crazy but in fact the last three days i've done nothing but price things so anyway before we go hi darlene it's good to see you good to have you here you're catching the tail end so you'll have to go back and watch it after it's finished uploading so does anybody have any suggestions on what you sell coral skin angel skin coral for I may keep it because I really love coral, so um, I may keep it. You know, uh, well, some of you I think I'm friends with on Facebook, but if you saw on Father's Day, I had a really pretty uh, 
dress on that has coral in it. So would go really pretty with it. So, so anyhow, but uh, um, jewelry. I've I've moved moved most of my jewelry sourcing to eBay. So I'm going to share. And I have look. If you know me, um, you, what you see is what you get. And when it comes to jewelry, there is enough jewelry out there on eBay, on anywhere to know that if we all bought a lot a day, there would still be jewelry. Okay. There, everybody in their dog sells jewelry, including most of us. So I have no issues sharing some of my favorite people who sell. Uh, Gene, his name is Gene 1220. I buy from him. He sells by lots and he only takes one picture. So, and a lot of times when he does silver lots, his pictures are horrible. Uh, they're so shiny. You can't hardly see in it. However, I've bought two, three, four lots from him. And out of those four lots, two of them had gold in them and all of them had sterling silver in them. So, uh, the prices don't go real high on them. He does auctions. Um, so Gene 1220 is his uh, username. Uh, Peg, P E G G underscore Hort, H O R T. And it may be backwards. It may be H O R T underscore Peg, I think is how it is. I've bought seven lots from this lady. And, um, I've not found gold. I do find silver in it. In fact, do y'all remember the real pretty abalone piece I got a, a little while back? It was from her. Um, she always includes a bonus piece in her lots that she puts in a bag and shows in the lot. And it might be marked on the bag 925. It might be marked um, this or that. Um, like she had that piece that I bought that said abalone necklace. And so anyway... Uh, her she starts her lots at twelve ninety nine, and for her um, uh, G E N E Francis G E N E. Um, okay, thanks, Anita. I will look them up on eBay. Uh, Jean twelve twenty. Um, um, Peg Hort. Let me tell you, she's not a smoker, but somebody in her home is a smoker. And she buys from all sorts of places. So I have gotten lots from her that smell mildly of smoke, but not so bad that all I've done is open them, lay them out, and the smell goes away. So if you're highly sensitive, you will want to be careful about that. But she always has really good pieces like Monet, Napier, Trafari, that kind of stuff in it. It's not junk. Another one that I've bought from that has awesome pieces. And her prices are a little bit higher than the other ones. But is her name is Samantha Graves. So uh, she has awesome. I love when, when, and, and I'm just, the only reason that I'm not buying right now is because I have so much that I have to get listed and priced. And let me just show y'all. Okay. That is a bag of $1 jewelry for my booth. So that once I get my $1 jewelry stuff sold and cleared out, this thing is full of jewelry. Nice jewelry that can go on eBay most of it can all go on eBay. It's really nice stuff. Seriously, there's probably 15 pounds right here. And this is just one of the things that I have that has to be sorted. So I've got to cool it about buying a bunch more stuff. So I, I'm, I, I, I just don't mind sharing because, you know what, I want my friends to be able to find good jewelry too because if we all succeed at selling that's you know, that's just more beautiful jewelry that we save from somebody 
thrown away. That's one of the things that make me sad because, you know, I think about what if I fell over dead right now? What would happen to all my jewelry? Well, I know what would happen. My family would toss it. My, if my mom was still alive, she would come in and she knows somebody that she would probably call and ask them, hey, are you interested in buying all this? But uh, my, my son and my husband, they wouldn't do nothing with it. So I just want everybody to be able to find really nice jewelry and to find it at really good prices. So, And yeah, we are all hoarders. And we are also enablers because I'm enabling you guys by telling you who to buy from. But uh, if you're on Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers group, you can also uh, look in our stores. A lot of our members sell lots. I have lots on my eBay listings. Junk lots, good lots. So anyway, so um, those there are three. I want to say her name is Hort Peg, but... Her name is Peggy Horton, but uh, I think it's Hort underscore P-E-G-G. -G. Um, but um, then Gene 1220 and uh, Samantha Graves. Those uh, just do an advanced search for users. Anita, Fanita, she on on Sunday nights, she's showing us lots, $13 lots, guys. And she's doing free shipping. So she's not getting rich. I mean, she is getting rid of jewelry, but she's not getting rich at that. But they are awesome lots. One of the lots I bought from Anita was said it was sterling silver. So I cannot wait. I have a guy that'll buy my sterling silver. Are you doing lots too, Grumpy? Barbara, are you doing lots? I'm waiting to see what she says. So um, if you're not subscribed to Anita or going on Grumpy, which is Barb, um, for crafts, yes. I, I have some that need to be put together for crafting, too. So, uh, Makeup Zombie, she does them. Debs, do you have a YouTube channel? Francis, what about you? Darlene, do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, if you guys, I just want to give you a shout out. If you guys got a YouTube channel, go subscribe to them. Uh, they put out good. I know Anita and Barb both put out uh, great content. Uh, I love watching uh, Anita, and I also love watching Barb because Barb is just like, okay, you know, she, she's, she just tells you and shows you and does it. So, But there are a lot of people that are putting out awesome videos, and every time I watch a video, I learn something. I learn something. I've learned something today. I learned what the, that little thing is called. It's called a crown or a bezel. Yay, I remembered a crown or a bezel. So, uh, anyway, yep, crown or a bezel. So, uh, but we support each other in this, and we all are here because we love jewelry. So, you'll see those. Those are little turquoise earrings that I found, and they are sterling. So, hoping to open up a boutique. So, I'm watching everything. Are you wanting to open an online boutique or a brick-and-mortar boutique? So... I wish where I lived, it, where I live is very, very rural. And I mean, like I live in a town with a population of 3,000. Yep, you just go through it. And uh, you don't, uh, but I just like, I love seeing everybody. So I love seeing them, all the videos. But uh, I live in a small town. I would love to have a jewelry store, brick and mortar. I, w I would love to be in a high-end flea market or a resale. You know, I know where you live. I okay, Darlene, do you, <laughs> are you local? Do you live here locally? Because I may should know your name and not. I'm so bad with names. Since my husband got sick, my memory is worse than it's ever been. So, oh, you live in Cabot. I live, I don't live in Conway no more, uh, Darlene. I used to live down in Conway. I'm down in Western Arkansas now. Uh, I live about, uh, I live, I can look out my windows and see the foot of Mount Magazine. So anyway, but uh, um, Francis, you, I can't wait because I know you're going to have cool stuff in your thing. So Darlene, that is neat. I, uh, uh, 
I used to go through Cab when I lived in Conway. I went to Cat through Cabot a lot, by Cabot a lot, because I would go to Cersei to my riders' meetings. And that's one thing I I don't think I've ever mentioned here on the channel is that um, for the last six years, I well actually for up until my husband got sick for the past nine years, I was a book reviewer, and I worked with the Christian fiction genre, and then. Um, then about six years ago, I started working as a virtual assistant for an author and I've worked for her for the past six years and I still work for her. Uh, I do all of her PR and stuff like that and and all of her Facebook posts and things like that. And so but um, in 2014, I had two books come out myself and um, they're they're fiction. They're one of them I co-authored and one of them is a children's story. And then I was part of a uh, of a uh, um, devotional book that I done about we done about fear. So anyway, so I am a person of many talents. I don't know. I'm a person who just likes to do. I like to try new stuff. So anyway, but uh, so I'm going to say goodbye because I'm fixing to kick back and watch some videos myself. So you guys have a great day. Y'all be blessed and uh, keep finding that cool jewelry so you can show it to us. So anyway, and I'll be over to check you girls out, see if y'all got new videos. So you too, darling, thanks for coming and everybody gives a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notified when I'm live. So thanks. Bye.